So in question one, we're asked to um, shade the region that obeys each of these rules. So I can see that uh, y has got to be less than or equal to 2x plus 6. So I'm going to draw this. I know it looks like a straight line because this is of the form y equals mx plus c. So I know it's got a y-intercept of 6 and a gradient of 2. So let's just draw this very roughly. It's got a y-intercept of 6 and a gradient of 2, so a long one up 2. So it's going to look something like this. So this is the line where y equals 2x plus 6. And I obviously want everything that's below or equal to it, so everything below that line. To draw this one, um, again, it's going to be a straight line, um, but I want to rearrange this so it looks like the form y equals mx plus c. So first thing, take the 17x away from both sides. And now divide through by 4. So 4 divided by 4 would be 1. And the 17 divided by 4, I'll just write that as 17 over 4. Now this is the form y equals mx plus c. The y-intercept is 1, so it's going to cut through here at 1. And I can see that the gradient is minus 17 over 4, uh, basically minus 4 and a bit. So it's basically going to be going down, so I'll draw that like this. So everywhere on this line, the y-coordinate has to be, um, everywhere on the line, y equals 1 minus 17 over 4x. And I want where it's equal to or below that line. So below, below this line. So, so far I'm looking below this line and below this line. So everything down here at the moment. The final rule is y has got to be greater than or equal to 1. So I know y equals 1 on this line across here. Y has to be greater than 1, so above this line. So the region that I'm actually looking at is this triangle on the inside here. And there we go. So that's my answer to part A. Part B, we had to work out the area of this. Well, if I just draw this separately for a moment, so this is that shaded triangle. I want to work out the base, which I can do because I can work out these coordinates. These coordinates are where... Um, each of these lines uh, meet y equals 1. The y coordinate is 1 here and here. So if I put 1 here, I can work out the x coordinate here. If I put 1 um, here, I can work out the x coordinate there. And then I can work out the base. The height of this triangle, I can work out because if I can work out that y coordinate here, which would be where these two lines intersect. So if I do simultaneous equations with these two lines, that will tell me the coordinates of this point. And I know that this here is y, uh, y equals 1, so I can work out the difference between those two coordinates to work out the height. So that was part B of the question. Um, just another question quickly. Um, I, again, I'm asked to draw the, sh um, the region that obeys both of these inequalities. I know that this is a quadratic, because if I were to expand this out, I would end up with an x squared. So I know it is either a u shape or an n shape. In this fact, I know it would be an n shape, because if I did expand this, I would end up with a minus x squared when I expand this out. So I know it's an n shape and not a u shape. Um, I'm not actually going to expand it out because this is the best form to have it in because I can read off the y uh, the x-intercepts easily to be 3 and minus 2. So I can now draw this graph. It looks something like that. I want y to be above that. The y has to be greater than this, so it has to be above this n. I also want, um, or the other thing I should probably have done here, but I've done it in black pen so I can't. This should be a dotted line rather than a solid line because y should be greater than but not equal to. So really this should be a dotted line and not a solid line. Right, y um, plus x is greater than 3. Let's rearrange this to get it in the form of y equals mx plus c. I can now see that my y-intercept is 3 and it's got a gradient of minus 1. So if I so that's 3 there, a gradient of minus 3, so, so minus 1. 
a long one, down one, a long one, down one, a long one, down one. It's basically going to look something like that. So what we're saying is that the region I'm looking for has to be above the N and it has to be above um, the line, the diagonal line I've just drawn. So it's all of this region here above both the N and the diagonal line. And that's how we do section B.